Uh, good morning, folks. You find me on the way up here now to a secret quarry just past Carmiley. But first of all, I'm stopping here at the, uh, I think it's called the Corn Kist, actually. Yes, the Corn Kist. And uh, we're here to go and get a cup of tea and a bacon roll before I start today's adventure, folks. And uh, here we have something. Do you want to see uh, a big cock? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, folks. The bacon roll. Mm. Well, there we go, folks. And that was a fantastic bacon roll at the corn kiss there. And I also got myself a slice of Victoria sponge and a fruit scone to take away because uh, Liz and the girls always do such fantastic um, cakes. There, so they're really nice. And uh, they're, they're, they're a big follower of Strange Places in Scotland. They, they love all the stuff we do. So, nice one, girls. Thank you. And uh, off we go now to the, the secret quarry. quarry. Right, well, I have arrived at the uh, location of this secret <coughs> quarry and it's a bit of a strange way to get into it, but uh, you sort of park at this farm and, I th oh God, it's going to be so overgrown, like yesterday. And there is a bit of a path through here that you can uh, you can go. So that's where I'm heading in there, folks. Um, there's a bit of a, a sort of a water quarry at the end as well. So what I've got, I've got these uh, boats that I've made up and I've got these wee action figures to set sail, where are they? Set sail on their final journey into the unknown. Okay, let's hack our way through here. I think it's this way you go anyway. Goodness me, I can't even see the path. Goodness me. Is it this way we go? Hang on. Stunt of death, my goodness. Oh, it's a wall of nettles. I don't want to get through here. That's oh, a disaster, folks. I'm actually trapped in this wall of nettles here. There's no way I'm going to get through. I'm stuck. Oh, stung so much. Oh, my goodness me. I just can't see a way through. It's, it's up there. I have the head. Oh, no. I'm going to have to abandon this, man. <clears throat> Crikey. Oh, ouch. Ow. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, ow, God's sake, ah, another one burnt my knee there, ah, God damn. Yeah, there's just no way through here, man. Right, change of plan, I have to just get the hell out of here. <laughs> I see this old trailer, anyway, trapped in here, look at this. Right, not to be deterred, I came up the side of the field here. Right on the side there, I um, thought there might be a point over here and I can see where I'm supposed to be, I just over there, but there's just no way, there's just so many nettles, I think that's an electric fence there actually as well, look, um, and barbed wire, hogweed, everything's there man, it's just the same as yesterday except worse, so there's no way I'm going to get in there, so we'll have to <coughs> have a little change, that's where I was in there folks, I was in there, I was, I was just in there, can you believe it? Um, so... <laughs> We'll just have to head up to the normal quarries up at uh, East Hills there, just over there. Right, change of plan, drastic change of plan. Believe, well, obviously, I have to believe how green and overgrown everything has become over the last week or so. It's just been incredible. It must have just been the rain that we've had has just made everything blossom up. Oh my goodness me, I can even see coming through here into the quarry, which is normally just flat land, and you can walk straight through it, no problem. It's just green, it's normally mud flats through here. 
and just quarries and, and stone. But today, oh my goodness me, look at this. It's just a green all the way through. I don't even know if I'm going to get into the quarries today, Matt. I really don't know. Crikey. Well, I can hear buzzards. Yeah, there they are. The buzzards and the, the queuing noise of pew, pew. Yeah, there's a couple of them, good. Sit and watch them for a bit. It's like I've walked into a scene from the The Walking Dead or something, man. It's just, it makes an atmospheric and spooky in here, man. It really is. All these dry tire track beds that I'm sort of following to try and find my way through these quarries. But I remember the last time I was here, man, it was just so damp and everything was sodden and wet. Right, so I'm actually at the end of the quarry now, I've walked all the way around it. There's no, nothing to see, folks. <laughs> nothing at all, I'm afraid. So we'll just kind of head back to the car and have to think of something else to do. Anyway, let's go this way. Now then, yes, if I'm right in my thinking, which I think I am this time, this is where years and years ago we had our BB guns and we stood and shot down into this quarry, I think we just sort of stood about here on this brow, this edge and shot down, oh there was, that was water, was down there, water all down there and we shot our BB guns down onto and we held our cagoules out like this and what a noise, what a thwock, thwock it would make so we'll head down that way Amazing to watch, but boring on the video, I'm afraid. For the uh, to watch the the buzzards just hit a thermal and just suddenly just start circling up. I'm absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to sit and watch them for a while, folks, before we head back. I know I'm not going to video because it's boring on the video. 